What is up YouTube? I'm SoCal Shaolin. Today's video is going to be a uh, rather sad one as I might be going into this Toys R Us behind me probably for the last time. As you all know that Toys R Us stores are closing. I don't think everyone is closing but I know this one right behind me uh, it definitely is closing. Uh, I don't know how it is in your guys' uh, towns. But uh, let's go in check out uh, what kind of stuff they have left. I was here last week with my son and the shelves were already pretty barren with deep deep discounts so let's go in and see what uh, what's left at this toys r us so we're about to head on in there's already droves of families going in to take advantage of the discounts they have going here at the toys r us and uh, you can see right there in the front already there's lots of signs at it's closing and all the discounts that they have. So it says uh, even the fixtures, furniture, and equipment is for sale. So they're getting rid of everything, not just the toys. So there we have empty shelves over here for the Paw Patrol. There's these shelves usually are packed with, with toys and stuff. Oh my goodness! So here's the Star Wars and uh, Marvel section. It's like nothing left, 50% off. And they got a Falcon. Wonder how much that is. As you can see, the shelves are pretty empty already. Plenty of Justice League weapons. And lots of cars. The Wonder Woman stuff is on sale. I don't think anyone's buying it. So this was part of the collectors aisles right here with all the mini mates and stuff. Here we got the rest of the collector aisle with all the NECA stuff. The Walking Dead figures. I guess they're all on sale for 50% off. Good pops. See right here the remote control car section. With a 70% off for these little skateboards. As you can see the shelves are pretty much gone over here on this side. It's pretty sad to see. There's like nothing on this one. Here's the Marvel section, superhero section. Pretty empty itself. We got a shocker figure. Steph Curry. Empty Star Wars section. But there are lots of people here shopping, trying to take advantage of the deals and of uh, because if these people would have been here before, then they probably would not have been closing. Some mad balls right there. Ninja turtles. Stuffed animal section is gone. Okay, so I see the Lego sets with the yellow dots are not on sale, which looks like most of them. 
most of them have the yellow dots. As Lego hardly ever has any discounts. But it looks like people are buying them up anyway because I still see empty shelves here in the Lego section. Those are funny. These brick heads are pretty funny. Is that fin? Here's like the whole collection right there. Man, Lego fans are not showing Finn any love at all. Last year I visited Bangkok, Thailand, and while I was there I got to check out a Toys R Us in one of the malls. Uh, I did make a video for the channel of my visit to that Toys R Us. Uh, the link to that video if you want to see it will be in the description below. Please check it out, it was an awesome experience. It was cool visiting a Toys R Us in another country. All right guys, I am out of the Toys R Us. I didn't buy anything, there's hardly anything left. Uh, that's cool, everything's been picked through, uh, but there's still lots of discounts. There, big discounts, and as the store comes nearer to the close, they're gonna have even bigger discounts. Uh, for everything that's left because they're selling the fixtures and the shelves and the glass cases they're selling all that stuff but yeah it's just kind of sad seeing those empty shelves at Toys R Us weird yeah uh, definitely because you know they're always filled with toys but I'm 37 so I grew up in the 80s I was a kid in the 80s and I remember my mom taking me to the Toys R Us and just seeing all the cool stuff they have like He-Man, Thundercats, Silverhawks uh, Star Wars it, it was just cool like I lived through that golden era of like toys in the 80s and then now I have a three-year-old and it was fun taking him to Toys R Us we didn't even have to buy anything we would just go he wanted me to take him he just peruse the aisles play with the toys and we leave he'd be happy uh, so it's gonna kind of be kind of sad you know we don't get to do that but I mean in San Diego this location is the one that's closing I don't know how it is in your cities Actually, the one that's right down the street from us is not closing. It's still going to be open. But, I mean, but for how, how much longer, you know? Uh, it could be staying open for right now, but then it could change, you know? I mean, you just don't know. Never thought Toys R Us would be closing. But, yeah, that was uh, my final walk through here. And this Toys R Us, I'm not coming back here anymore. There's nothing left. But thanks anyways, guys, for watching. Uh, let me know how things are at your Toys R Us and your cities. Are all of them closing? Some of them? Are some of them closed already? I don't know. Uh, please let me know and uh, share some of your memories of going to Toys R Us uh, from when you were a kid to now. Let me know what you guys uh, think. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm SoCal Shaolin. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. And uh, yeah, I'm always going to be a Toys R Us kid and I never want to grow up. Toys R Us kid. They got the best for so much less. You'll really flip your lid. From bikes to trains to video games. It's the biggest toy store there is. Gee whiz. I don't want to grow up because maybe if I did, I couldn't be a Toys R Us kid. Once a Toys R Us kid, always a Toys R Us kid.